Hello, I'm Kirk Williams and welcome to A Second Take. This is where I take a second look at movies that have come out and I give you my personal opinion because I'm not some guy who's paid a bunch of money to do these. So, well, unless you want to send me some money and then maybe I will change my opinion. Maybe I won't. Anyway, this week we're going to take a look at Hotel Transylvania and Alex Cross. Here we go. Alex Cross, a young homicide detective slash psychologist, meets his match in a serial killer. The two face off in a high stakes game of cat and mouse. But when the mission gets personal, Alex Cross is pushed to the edge of his moral and psychological limits. This movie has Tyler Perry, Matthew Fox, and Rachel Nichols. Now the first thing you have to understand is this is not a Tyler Perry movie. Tyler Perry is in this movie, but it's not a Tyler Perry movie. This movie has a complete different director. So this movie is minus, first of all, the bad acting, the weak storylines, and the crude humor. This is a good movie. I thought it was pretty good. A lot of the critics have come out against it and they just really can't get Medea out of their mind, but Tyler pulled it off. Alex Cross. Got ourselves a Four Roses. Hey, Alex. You're gonna want to prepare yourself for this one. Woman was tortured to death. I'm fascinated by pain. He's ex-military. Special Forces, judging by his tactics. This guy, he's checking out the list. He's focused, he's got a clear path. Dr. Cross, are you there? Inflicting pain is a crucial part of my true calling. You are sick and twisted. Dr. Cross, you're taking this personally. By the way, you have a very pretty wife. I think he did. I think he did as good as Morgan Freeman would have been in this movie. He did as good as Denzel Washington, even, hey, Tom Cruise. This is his first action, you know, detective, police kind of guy movie that I've ever seen him in. But I think he did it. Although every so often you got a little taste of Medea coming through in his voice. However, it worked. Um, what can I say? If I had to compare this to Taken, Liam Neeson to Taken, it, it's just as good. Actually, I prefer this. Or, you know, some would say, support the brother, help him out. He can only get better. Oh, also, you know, and I found out that there's a whole series of Alex Cross books, and I guess there's another Alex Cross movie that came out before with Morgan Freeman playing the detective Alex Cross, which I, again, I searched in, in the red box. Of course, it's not in the red box. I couldn't find it on Netflix. I'm gonna try the library this time and see if I can actually find it. But I'm gonna also look into the Alex Cross books because I'm, I'm curious. They got my curiosity curiosity clicked. So anyway, Kirk and Meter, Alex Cross. This is definitely not a don't miss, but I think it's a go see movie. It's worth going to see. Help him out. I didn't mind. I felt better about this movie than I felt about Taken. There we have Alex Cross. It gets a three. Go see. Now we're going to move right. I have no cards to throw today. We're going to move right along. Synopsis, Hotel Transylvania. Welcome to Hotel Transylvania, Dracula's lavish five steak <coughs> resort, I guess steaks to the heart, where monsters and their families can live it up. Free to be monsters, they are without humans to bother them. One special weekend, Dracula has invited some of his world famous monsters, Frankenstein and his wife, the mommy, the wolfman and his bunch of kids and all of this stuff. The problem is, this place is supposed to be hidden from humans, but a human stumbles in and there goes the weekend because he's celebrating his daughter's 118th birthday. Beautiful Maven, with daddy you will stay. And if a human tries to harm you, I'll simply say... <laughs> Because you're daddy's girl. <laughs> Ever since she was born, I've wanted to protect my little ghoul. So I created a place where all monsters could be safe. From them! You 
Humans hate us. They're vicious. And they're very loud. This movie has, or I should say, I don't know if this is a movie. It's, do they consider CG things, cartoonish things like movies? Well, anyway, this has Adam Sandler. Sandler. Sandler, yeah, Sandler. I blew that, huh? Adam Sandler. Kevin James, Andy Samberg, who's the voice of the young guy, and Selena Gomez, who throughout the entire movie sounds completely like um, uh, Hannah Montana or, you know, Miley Cyrus. In the entire movie, I'm like, man, that sounds, I'm telling my kids, man, this sounds like Hannah Montana. Didn't you guys think so? I thought so, too, anyway. So, I think it was another good movie. It, it had a bunch of chuckles. I had my fun laughing through this one. It was good. And, and again, this is a kid's movie. We got Halloween coming up, so you guys can go see it for Halloween. But I, another one I enjoyed it. Two good movies. I mean, on the Kirkometer, I, this is, again, this one falls into the three category. You can go see it. It's, you know, it's not a don't miss or whatever, but it's three, three and four. Four means go see. Five means don't miss. But it's definitely worth the see. It's worth the however much money you want to spend on it. So there we have it. Hotel Transylvania and Alex Cross. Two go see movies, have some fun, take your kids out, take a friend out, take your significant whatevers and whoever's and monsters and mommies and woo goos and goblins. Go see the movies. I'm Kirk Williams. I want to thank everybody at KCTH again. Also, um, last week I forgot to um, give a shout out to Alec McPherson, McPherson, Phyllis McPherson over at the, the Bowtie King. And he told me he forgot to pop it. So I just want to pop it and say, go see a movie. And hopefully I can help you find a good movie. I'm Kirk Williams, and this has been a second, not four, just one. Okay, I'll just do one. Two, or right, two. This has been a second take, and we'll see you next time.